So here I have created this shop with different products. Now if I click on this add to cart button, then you can see the number on the cart updates. Now if I add another product, then you can see this number increases as well with a little animation. So today we are going to create this intermediate level functionality. Welcome to 26th video of Real World JavaScript series. So here we are using this DOM content loaded event. And then here we have this products array where we have different products. And after that, here we are grabbing our HTML elements. And here we have this initial cart state. And this is the logic for rendering the products on the UI. So if we take a look on our HTML file, so inside this div, we are rendering our products and that's why we are utilizing this products container id so here we are grabbing this products container id and this is how we are putting those products inside the products container and this is how we are adding these click events to all the add to cart buttons so when user click on that add to cart button this is what happens so if there is product then we will push that product into our cart items and we are calling here this update cart badge the little circle which is in red color shows the number of products inside the cart then we change the inner text of the button for a while that gives a feedback that product is added to the cart and then here we have the logic for this update card badge. Then here we are making a function call to our render products function to initially load the products onto our UI. Okay, so this was the whole overview of the code. If you need this code, then GitHub repository link is present inside the description of this video. Now, before we take a look on our UI, there is a request that please share this video with your friends and don't forget to drop a like. And here we have the UI.